Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to my studio. I just love making art. I think it's really fun. It's relaxing and yet challenging enough for me to want to keep, you know, learning and growing and doing better. And I just want to share it with all of you. I hope you enjoy it too. I have traceables and I'm also behind on making holiday ornaments I sell in the galleries. So here's this year's set of four ornaments. They're four inch by four inch traceables. We're going to paint the gnome. Um, I've got a gnome from last year. I'll put the link in the video. Um, there's also another set. I think I've got two sets of four. If you want to do quite a variety of ornaments like this, it can be really fun. Um, so I hope that made sense. I think this is my third set of four uh, traceables for ornaments. <laughs> but you could also put, turn them into handmade greeting cards or anything you want to gift. Here's what they look like when they're finished. This one, oh here I'm trying to turn it. This one's a tree and it actually has some gold paint on it. So maybe if I turn it a little bit, hopefully it'll catch. So they're just little canvas, four inch by four inch canvas panels from Michaels. And here's a snowman from last year. These are the only two I didn't sell. They were at one of the galleries and didn't sell. So let's get started on the gnome and have some holiday fun. Just a quick shot of the little Dremel drill I used to drill the four inch by four inch canvas panels. So I, I don't know if you, I have a little pencil mark where I'm gonna drill and then I just line it up, turn it on and drill through it. But I don't wanna do that in video. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. All right, I've got my little four by four canvas here and um, I drilled holes in it and I took a quick little video so you could see the drill I use. I use my husband's drill. Um, you could use, I bet you could almost pound a nail through it. Whatever's gonna work for you. And then I have this cruddy brush that I've ruined over the years where I just stick some white paint in there to clean it up just cause I like to. And then I'll kind of take the white paint and there'll be little pieces of paper. I'll kind of stick those down just to seal it up a little bit. I mean, it's just whatever you want to do. But I thought I would show that. And then I'm gonna get the traceable on here and get this one started. Okay, I've got my gnome traced on here. Sometimes these canvases aren't quite square. I can see that there's a little bend. I don't know if I can hold it, but there's a little bend here. Um, I don't know what the M's for. Oh, I guess then the traceable might not quite fit. Like I think I got a little bit less hat on there, but it's totally fine. You can adjust and make it fit. I think I'm gonna paint the blue background and then we'll jump over to the live. And then you can watch. I don't know if I'll be able to paint the whole thing on live or not. I might be able to. We'll see how this goes. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I've got titanium white. I like Liquitex if you're new to my channel. Uh, just mostly because they're really nice, really nice acrylic paints, heavily, heavily pigmented. They might be the original acrylic paint company for artists. I don't know, Golden could be older but I think Liquitex is and I also like that the caps will stand up so when I store them you know you could hang them by the hole like they do in the store but I just stand them on a shelf okay and then I also think I'm going to use this light blue violet um, I'm going to have a green hat so then it reads more as a tree and then gray whiskers and probably a oh a portrait pink and a unbleached titanium nose and then I think too we'll splatter it. That's where I think we're gonna go. Okay, I just wanted to let you know my colors. We'll have a little time lapse and then I'll pop in and let you know if we're gonna pop over to the live. Uh, 
Okay, I did decide to go to the live after I got the background painted. Um, one thing with these little guys that I do is I hold them and paint them. So I'm hoping when I, when you jump over to the live, I'll, you know, keep it flatter. I remember to also pick it up so you guys can see it. And, and I think, I yeah, I already mentioned that I think it might be fun to splatter. Okay, guys, if you want, pop over to the live. Otherwise, I'll be right back. So this is as far as I got on the live. I'm going to download the live and time lapse it. So it would have been that the time lapse bit right before um, now. If you want to go watch it live, I talk a little, have a few art tips about pulling the paint, 
um, I can't remember what else. Oh, and then we mixed, we mixed um, a portrait pink right here on my palette if you want to see that how that how we did that we did it two ways um i think emily's way might have been actually better <laughs> this is my way and that was emily's way if you want to go see that i'm gonna work on this and then i'll be back in a bit friends I think I'm done and I'm gonna splatter my gnome so it's snowing um, you could just put dots but I've never I have never used this brush and I'm a little nervous because it's really big <laughs> um, compared to that little four inch by four inch ornament I've got going and then also I thought of a tip so one thing you can do you could, if it's dry enough, you could put some tape down over it, some artist tape. But I just put another um, coat of white on the nose, on the highlight on the nose. So if you don't want to get splatters on your nose, put a little piece of paper towel or a piece of paper over the top of it. I'm going to thin out. I've got... I happen to put out heavy body white. If you've got, you know, the student grade or I've got a, like a jug of the white, you know, that would be thinner to start with, but it really doesn't matter any white you have. But I don't want to mix with that brush. I wonder if I just want to mix with a, a small brush to, so you kind of want to get it runny. You're not supposed to mix, gosh, I don't remember what the percentage is, but like, I don't know, a third water with the paint. It, of course, it depends if it's heavy body or... Oh, you know what might be good is to have some of the um, soft body white. If you do a lot of snow splattering. I don't have any. I wonder if this would work a little better with a brush. And I thought we'd try a couple different... I just dropped a brush. Um, try a couple different brushes to splatter. And you just never know. You kind of just slowly add some water until it looks pretty runny. I always say until it's like milk, but milk can be pretty thin. Maybe just a smidge more. And you can splatter with a toothbrush. I just don't happen to have one handy up here. And then, of course, protect your clothes or your area if you... You know, I'm okay with getting splatters on things here, but in case you aren't. And we'll just try this number one round that I was using. Um, you could... Oh, I dropped the, the fuzzy one I was using earlier. I'm going to get it wet, put a little water in it. We'll just see. Ah! I actually kind of like that. It's making little dots. Can you see it in the upper left-hand corner? I don't know if I even want to use this. It's so big. I mean, for a bigger painting, oh, let's let's give it a try. So I'm getting it a little wet. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Because it might blob pretty big. Here, I'm going to try it right on. You won't be able to see it, but I'm going to try it right on the... Oh, yeah. Can you see the big, the big splatter here? I just think that's a little too big for my, my little ornament. I'm going to clean it out. 
but that definitely works because it, it wiggles. So what's nice about a brush like this, or even a long like detail brush, it wiggles more so you get more splatter. Whereas the little brush I'm using doesn't wiggle much. But I think in this case, this case, I kind of like that. Oh, that's fun. I kind of like the fine snow. And then see if I get it over the nose. It's not gonna show. I'm just, oh, there's a big one. I'm just tapping. I wonder if you kind of wanna change direction. And then what you can do, take off my little nose paper towel, and you want, you can just dot. I'm gonna get a little thicker. Like I kinda like this, there's a big dot there. I don't know if that's gonna show, but maybe we'll put, put a bigger dot there. You want to go in for a little more control. Fun. I need to sign it. I think I'll sign it over there. I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer. Oh, should we put a dot on his nose maybe? So normally you don't want to get paint all the way up into the ferrule where the brushes are um, attached to the handle. But I'm, I'm pretty hard on brushes. I'm not going to show too much. No. Got a couple on him, on his nose. Oh yeah, Emily named this forest. If you didn't see the live, because um, I time-lapsed the live earlier in this video, so if you didn't go listen to the actual live, she came up with another. I think that's cute. Of course, I immediately thought of Forrest Gump. So you can keep playing and keep playing, which to me is fun. So I'll dry it with a hair dryer. I'll sign it. If I put one here, I don't think it's gonna show. Yeah. Um, and then I also put on, cause that's pretty thin paint, but I just do this anyway. Um, I'll put on a gel gloss isolation layer. So I've thinned out a little bit of gel gloss. I already have some thinned out in an old, it's actually Liquitex gel gloss I have in here, but it happens to be a golden. I've used golden too, whatever I can find in the store. And it'll tell you on the back in the instructions how much you can thin it. And then once this is good and dry in a couple days, I'll just paint on some gel gloss and I think that helps seal it up, stick everything together. Acryl like, acrylic likes to stick to things. And then when that's dry, with the ornaments, I put on a gloss varnish. Uh, most paintings, I put on a semi-gloss. Oh, I just slid off my chair. Most paintings, I put on a semi-gloss varnish, which this is. I don't know if you're gonna see any, any shine. So this has a gel gloss isolation layer, and then a couple days later, I varnished it with satin varnish. I don't know if you're getting any of the shine. I think it just looks nice and rich. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm looking forward to painting the Cardinal and the Snowman and the Polar Bear. They'll all be videos of some sort. I'm looking for the traceables in case you missed that part. The traceables are already up on my website. Uh, let me know if you download them and if you paint an ornament or what you do with them. Make a card, put them on a t-shirt, enlarge them and put them on a t-shirt or something. Um, that would be fun to fabric paint those on a t-shirt. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.